Okay, in this lecture, we're going to talk about how to perform data validation in Microsoft Excel 2016. So, data validation is a feature that allows us to create a drop down list. So, this is very helpful when we want to, for instance, limit a user to doing just a certain set of options. So, a great example is an expense report. Let's say we have an employee and she has a bunch of expenses that, and she's putting them on an expense report at the end of the month. So we have a date, a description, like a flight to Los Angeles, an expense type, and an amount for each expense. So here is, we want to, is where we want to limit her to certain expense type categories. Let's say the accounting team uses five categories, travel, meals, hardware, software, and miscellaneous. So instead of letting her or forcing her to type in each expense type, in this scenario, we're going to create a data validation drop-down list. So for step one, we just highlight the area where you want to create the drop-down lists. So now that we've highlighted the area, go to the Data tab and find the Data Validation option. Now click the button. Here we have Data Validation. So, the first thing we want to do is we want to create a list. So select the list, and then now we have to find a source. So Excel is asking us where the information is that we want in the list. So click the small upwards arrow, and now let's go to our second tab, our data validation expense type tab, and simply highlight your data. You can see here we've highlighted A1 through A5. Click the down arrow and simply click OK. Now you'll see that if I click in any of these cells, we actually have a drop-down list. So flight to LA, that sounds like travel. Um, bought Excel 2016, let's say that's software. Dinner and airport, blah, blah, blah. And so now she can go through, she can fill this out for the accounting team, and when she hands this over, it's gonna be easier for everyone. So that's about it. Um, if you want to keep learning more from me, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. And if you're interested in learning all of Excel, I created a business-focused Microsoft Excel course focused on learning the 20% of Excel used in 80% of your work. I've included a discounted link below. So take a look and thanks for watching.